Missing from this year's Olympics, tennis superstar Rafael Nadal. I will not be able to, to keep playing tennis during the 2021 season. I don't quite know what shape he's in. I mean, he won a tournament, didn't have to play a player in the top 75. But I think it's probably a big ask at this tournament, though courts are playing very fast. He's played seven tournaments each of the last two years. It's great to see him back out there healthy but three out of five sets on a hard court on his body, I, I just don't know. I mean, I want to see him get to 21. Um, I think it's so much good to come out of it if Rafa has a great tournament and potentially wins here. But let's see physically how he holds up. The only thing that you can be sure that I'm I going to fight uh, every single day. Everybody have doubts, everybody have uh, frustrations, and everybody's making mistakes, no? And the uh, most important thing is about how you react. From Spain, Rafael Nadal. Looks like you're well positioned fitness wise again to be able to handle those rigors. On Monday we're going to see it. I, I can't uh, tell you a, a clear uh, or accurate answer uh, because I didn't play best of five since, since Roland Garros no? and I only played three matches in the last uh, six months. The intimidation factor in the locker room is massive because Rafa in the locker room is on fire. Have we talked about this enough? I mean, he could take over this major. We've been so obsessed with this goat race for so long, and I feel like now it's like staring us in the face and we don't talk about it. I mean, <laughs> Nadal's 18 sets from taking over the all-time tennis lead in majors, and first time I'm hearing about it. Oh, he's gifted it to Nadal, and he knows it. Yeah, it's interesting. Maybe we don't talk about his story that much when we don't think it's going to happen, but I think we need to start thinking that. I would like to know about his mental state, because he must re recognize he's at the end of his career. He's got to be feeling pressure. Oh, Nadal. The beauty and the brutality of the Spaniards. Oh, the This is a scandalously underrated topic that here's a guy, he's the only person in the men's draw who's won this event. His two rivals aren't there. Rafa Nadal is 15 sets away from becoming the all-time majors leader. Nadal has broken his heart. His last seven major finals have been against Federer. He says, can I get an easy one?
Australian Open for the 14th time in his career. enjoyed a lot uh, playing here. It's true that uh, I have been a little bit unlucky with injuries here uh, during all, all my career and sometimes I was unlucky because the opponents were better than me. <laughs> He's missed it, and we do have a fifth set here. What a comeback from Rafael Nadal. He looked dead and buried in this match. foot injury that he has had and managed throughout the course of his illustrious career. We saw him in all sorts of trouble at Roland Garros, fatigue, pulled out of Wimbledon, did not play for the rest of the season, but has come to Melbourne and it's been a fortress for him. Rafa looking to make the semis of the Australian Open for the seventh time. And of course, we'll be walking past his name. Everyone loves Rafa, don't they, Fitzy? I love Rafa. <laughs> I love the bloke. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I mean, I think I misspoke when I said that uh, that he's corrupt or whatever. I said, you know, it's definitely emotional, but I do I do stand by my side. I think uh, it's unfair, uh, you know, how much Rafa is getting away with. Oh, well done. Brilliant. Shapovalov breaks Nadal for the very first time today. The tide has turned significantly here. Well, at that point, I never thought about that. No. I was just trying to to survive because I was destroyed physically. I, I had a little bit of issue in my stomach, so I I just was trying to uh, to sur to survive in some way. Oh, it's amazing how he can hit winners and create something out of nothing. Stood a late charge from Nadal to take this into a fifth and deciding set. Seventh heaven for Rafa in Melbourne. A seventh 
is a miracle. I am not 21 anymore, so <laughs> after this, uh, these matches, it's, it's great to have two days, two days off. No, I... Well, you may not be 21 years old anymore, but you're going for number 21. I know that's a big deal. We'll table that. Yeah, it's, we can uh, create histories or this stuff, but uh, and the real truth is that uh, two months ago, uh, we didn't know if we will be able to, to be back on tour at all. No? So uh, here I am, for me, it's just a, a present of life that uh, I am here playing tennis again, and I just enjoy it. He survived. He escaped. He survived. We'll see. He's got two more matches to go. You know, I mean, he's, he's won one title, as you say, but his back went out in the final against Stan Van Brinka. I'm going from the locker room to the, to the main entrance of the stadium, and they see my picture. And you never know if that will be the last time that I will have the chance to, to enjoy that moment. Something just may have happened to his back. He actually just called for the trainer, yeah. I believe. The general fight was on his walk and talk. He's like, I'm shooting it for a trainer. Wow. He turned and he torqued that right at the middle of the court, wasn't it? This has been the major, which he's had injury problems in his career. He says this is his unluckiest, right? You can say what you want, but there's definitely something wrong with the doll. I mean, he's not looking at all. Just his back just seized up on him. That's pure speculation on my part. He's almost in tears. He's gonna be fine. You're a really great guy, a uh, good friend, and amazing champion. So, you did amazing comeback last year, comeback number one. And welcome to. Rod Laver Arena. It is the first of the men's semi-finals matches. And this is certainly going to be a blockbuster. From Spain, Rafael Nadal. A champion of champions. Essentially, what Nadal is all about. Rock solid from start to finish. Electrifying forehand. You said last time you were destroyed. How do you go so quick from being destroyed to destroying? Come on. <laughs> Well, I think I started well. Uh, I played uh, a great two sets, I think, playing very aggressive.
Martini breaks with a bullet. Let's talk about the final. It's your sixth Australian Open final. Almost every time you do something, it's historical these days. If you're able to win, you'd be the first man and the only man to win 21 major titles. How about that moment on Sunday? For me, it's all about uh, it's all about the Australian Open more than anything else. No, uh, it's it's just uh, an amazing event that. Uh, as I said a couple of days ago, no, I have been a little bit unlucky during my career with some injuries and uh, in other times I played amazing finals with good chances against Novak 2012, against Roger 2017. I was close a couple of times. I feel very lucky that I won once in my career, 2009. But uh, I never thought about another chance uh, in 2022. So just try to enjoy the victory of today, and then after tomorrow, I'm going to try my best. Congratulations, Rafa. We look forward to seeing you someday. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. quite important I think <laughs> yeah I'm gonna play again against uh, one of the greatest and uh, what's funny that again I'm gonna play someone going for the 21st slam so uh, I guess last time Rafa was watching uh, it near the TV uh, I don't know who he was cheering for but uh, I think Novak will be watching this one in two days also oh, yeah? going for history he's already made a little bit 500 now match wins on hard courts you know who else is in that category? Federer Djokovic Agassi. And it's Nadal. Difficult to understand that I was able to play at this at this level uh, right now, no? So uh, 
difficult to explain, honestly. I loved it, and you very rarely see tears from Rafa, and when he went to his bench, that was a lot. Uh, you know, he's crying in his hands, trying to hide it. You could see how much this meant to him, and we've heard him say, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to play tennis again. Uh, I know the pressure is not much uh, for me now. I, I never believed that I would have the chance to, to be where I am today, so just enjoying every single moment and of course, <laughs> trying my best because uh, I uh, I was in that semi-final, so I want to create the chance. I'm, I'm ready. I uh, I know that Rafa is a very strong player, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, I will need to to show my best uh, to try to win this match. But history beckons again for the legendary Spaniard. Will he collect his second Australian Open title or his 21st major? Chanting night here in Melbourne, it promises to be. Outrageous. Decisive point, the defining moment for Daniil. What defense. Medvedev has got the hammer and nails out and is about to put the lid on the coffin. It's just brilliant. Djokovic at his very best. That's not the backhand we've seen through the tournament. That's tight. It's a step ahead all the time. He knows where Nadal's going before Nadal does. Five hours, 53, seven years ago. Nadal's fans will be hoping it lasts two hours. Doesn't look like it at the moment. No, it doesn't. Novak is nearly playing with him now. It's just nothing you can do. What? <laughs> That's it. That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> History. 
victory for Novak Djokovic. He's out on his own. Medvedev's getting closer and closer to putting his hands on that wonderful trophy. I'll never surrender. Showing bits of magic to his fans, somehow trying to claw that deficit back. I'll never surrender. Outstanding from Rafa, upstanding from the crowd. I mean, that game is just a testimony in my mind to the competitiveness, what's been the greatness of Rafa Nadal over the years. I think for most of us there, we, we thought it was over, didn't we? Wow. Wow. To the fight is over. So the fight is over. Scintillating shot from the Spaniard. I'll never surrender. I'll never surrender. Oh, yes! Wow! I'll never surrender. There's a strength for me. Have you ever seen anything like it? This fight ain't over. Cause I'm rising up. Never give up. To a fifth, we go. This fight ain't over. This fight ain't over. This fight ain't over. I'll never surrender. That is the best shot he has ever hit. It's 3 2 Nadal in the pit. I'll never surrender. I'll never surrender. I'll never surrender. I'll never surrender. I'm not going down without a fight. I'll never surrender. He is looking to become just the second man in the open era to win all four Grand Slam tournaments twice and only the fourth man in history. I'll never surrender. Amazing turn of events. I was going to say, Rafa, at, at 5 4 30 love in, in, the, in the fifth, when you're so close to victory, you lose four points in a row. Was it that belief that you had to maintain even in the most difficult moments? Well, after that, I said, fuck, one more time, break up in the fifth, and I'm going gonna to lose the advantage again, no? like in 2012, like in 2017. Can lose the match, uh, or he can beat me, but I I can't uh, give up. What a return! What a return, Patch! What a 
What a night, what a morning. Melbourne, you are amazing. Nadal will serve for the title for a second time. So Australian go to the semi, but not the one we put. But it brings up three championship points. It's the miracle in Melbourne. I want to congratulate Rafa because what he did today, I was uh, I was amazed. Like uh, especially, I mean, during the match, I tried uh, I tried just to play tennis, but after the match, I just you know asked him uh, like, are you tired? <laughs> I say to myself, okay, I need to fight until the end. I need to believe because I uh, gonna be almost impossible, but I can't forgive me if I am not fighting until the end. And <laughs> right now, having. This trophy with me means, I don't know, it's, it's amazing.